Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and I've got a machine here that I'm going over so getting it ready so I can sell it. I've got another one sitting over there, not this one, that one over there you can see behind here that is all done ready to go and I'm just finishing up this one. I thought it was ready but Last fall, I took it out and actually mowed my yard with it and picked stuff up. And I could tell the blade was slowing down and the belt was loose. So I brought it in here to work on it. And whenever you work on these things, it's so much easier to take the deck off and just get it out of your way. <clears throat> what I found with this, and I tried outside, when last fall when I noticed the belt was slipping I tried to tighten the belt which you loosen the clamp and you slide the pipe out but I pulled on that thing as hard as I could and it would not come out what had happened is the pilot bushing froze to the pipe and you can see it's still turning but it was turning inside of the pipe that's welded into your rear case. It was not turning on the tube. So because of the lip on the end of the pilot bushing, you can't pull the tube out because it wasn't sliding out of the pilot bushing. So I had to bring it in here and take it apart and fix that. Another issue I noticed with it is I had no clutch. As soon as I pushed the clutch in, the brake would lock up. And the clutch pedal would only move not even a half an inch. The chain case down here only had about maybe an eighth of an inch of movement and it would lock the brake up. So and you can see that a lot of times the uh, clutch disc, and this is your drive disc, was not coming away from the drive disc far enough and it was melting the clutch disc. So I got my tool out and I checked it and somebody had slid the drive disc down a quarter of an inch which took up all of the travel of the chain case so it had no movement left and the reason they did that is I got a picture here because you can't see down in here was obviously they were having trouble going across the yard or up a hill it just wouldn't move so the real issue is this Here's a picture of the, the yoke is down here, and this is the arm coming off the yoke, and you have five adjusting holes for your spring. Where's the spring in them adjusting holes? It's in the weakest point. So of course it wouldn't go across the yard. It had no pressure pulling it against the drive disc. It's the first thing I tell somebody, if you're having trouble with your machine moving, tighten the spring. I had one viewer tore his whole drivetrain apart thinking there was something wrong inside of either the chain case or the differential and there was nothing wrong. I can't find anything wrong with it. It turns out this is the same issue. The spring was in the lowest setting and it was on the weakest point. So you want to check those springs. You want to check the yoke to make sure it's not worn out. A video ago I did a, a, a repair kit for a yoke and just make sure your yoke don't look like this. It should be straight and smooth, not worn out and all beat up. If your yoke looks like that, you're going to have problems with it driving across the yard because it can't pull the chain case 
into the drive disk anymore. <clears throat> so I just want to pass on a couple of notes if you're having issues, things to check. One of the videos I did a couple ago was talking about your um, throttle cables and some of them have full travel. This is slow and you pull it all the way up here for choke. But if you change a throttle cable or you change the engine, the travel on the two may be different as this one is because this is as far as it goes. That's choked and it's only moved half the travel that's supposed to. So this has either been replaced or the engine has. Is that going to hurt anything? No. It's still going to work just fine. You still have full movement of the bracket on the engine, even though your throttle cable is not moving its full stroke. The engine is, and that's what's important. Just a couple things I wanted to point out, and uh, it's going to be short today, but as I said in a video a while ago, hidden in a couple of my videos, I'm going to have drawings. And this one, we're going to have a drawing for this <clears throat> hour meter that is the same as the one I put on my machine. Why do you need an hour meter? Well, you don't. The only thing they're really good for is if they came on the machine when the machine was brand new, you know you have some kind of idea of how many hours are on the machine and it kind of give you an idea like miles on a car. Uh, how many hours will an engine run? Depends how it's taken care of. If the oil is changed, the filter is changed, if it has an oil filter, if the air breather is changed, that I think is more important than the oil. You don't want to get a plugged up air breather and start sucking sand or dust into your engine. That'll tear it up in a hurry. So yeah, an hour meter is kind of good, I guess, to keep track of how many hours you're putting on your machine. Just um, informative, I guess, if nothing else. Uh, like I said, this machine I have taken apart and cleaned and replaced everything I could see wrong with it visually. I did not open up the chain case or the differential. I did top them off with fluid. And this machine has a electric start. That machine over there is strictly a pull start, which I've been hearing lately a lot of people would rather have than a electric start because there's a lot less stuff to go wrong with it. So that's it. To register for the hour meter you have to send me a email and please title it hour meter because right now there's not a whole lot of people working and I am getting a lot of emails and questions on these machines. I think everybody's fixing their snappers. So title it uh, Our Meter. Give me your name and phone number because when I pull a name out of a hat to uh, give this thing away, I'm going to do it on a video so everybody knows I do actually give this stuff away. And that's about it. Just a couple of things I wanted to go over in case you're having the same issues. And uh, just a small little informative video. And that's about it for today. So as they're saying, stay home and stay safe. They don't want anybody getting sick out there just because they had to run to the store and get something they didn't really need. I haven't been out of the house in about a week. 
Well, I haven't been out of my yard <laughs> in a week. I've been either in the house or in the shop. And uh, like Governor said, I'm going to stay home and I'm going to stay safe, I hope. <clears throat> my age and my health, I have uh, breathing problems as it is. I don't know if I'd make it or not. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and keep on snapping. We'll talk to you soon. So long.